Now, in order to make things easier, I'm going to ask Mr. Gavonlich if he will make a composite picture of the complete criminal. Mr. Gavonlich, would you mind copying these facial characteristics onto the board as I give them to you? Certainly. I will indicate the uh, features to be copied. Now, here we have... I'm sorry. Here we have Dr. William Grobdigger, who was known as Dr. Death because he used to stand and shoot at his patients as they came in the doorway for consultation. He sometimes bagged as many as 15 or 20 a day in the season. Now, you'll notice that Dr. Grobdigger here has the high forehead of the neocephalic type. And I'm going to ask Mr. Gazunlik if you'll put Dr. Grobdigger's forehead into the drawing. Thank you. Gladly. Now, here is a type which is very common in all criminal classes, the neo-eurythmic or vanishing chin type. This man uh, set fire to his own house while he himself was in it. <laughs> Just for the pleasure of watching it burn, which is certainly arson for arson's sake. If you'll put this gentleman in, please, and no chin. Now, here is a man who was known as Darwin the Beaver. He went in for safe cracking on a rather extensive scale. He blew the front door off the Bank of England. And we'll put Darwin's nose in, if you please. Thank you very much. Now, if Mr. Gazondlik is doing his duty well here, we should have, in this combination of pictures, a composite picture of the perfect type of arch-criminal. Uh, have you anything to show us, Mr. Gazundlik? Here you are. The perfect type of arch-criminal, ladies and gentlemen. Vampires, werewolves, ghouls, ghosts. Mummies that come back to life after 3,000 years. The magic moments of terror. Thanksgiving ever catch on when they had to go through all that trouble just to get a turkey and then something else came along and ate them. But hey, it's your fleshy, fancy festival and I'm just trying to figure it out and make it better. But anyway, you know, I guess a well-fed fleshy is a good thing, so, you know, who am I to complain that much? Anyway, we haven't even gotten to the good part yet, right? Okay? According According to this book, okay, uh, let's see, according to the book, all right, uh, for a fleshy Thanksgiving, um, I have to have a table and fix it all up, okay, uh, the book says I'm supposed to have a festive Thanksgiving theme, okay, I need the following, uh, cranberry sauce, um, I've got cranberry sauce, it's this doesn't look very, I guess you can't. can. All right, um, pumpkin pie. I don't know what a pie is, but again, it kind of looks like the cranberry sauce, but hey man, it's, it's your thing. Um, mashed potato. Okay, I found, I found mashed potatoes and okay, this looks like when I found my mummy friend and I left them out in the sun over the summertime and you dehydrate it and no amount of water can fix them. But I think you guys are just wrong because you eat mummies. And it goes back to the whole thing about fleshies eating, you know, tick chicken and beavers and birds and ducks and roaches and, 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 and fleshies can't, you know, you know, they eat all that stuff and then zombies can't, but you eat mummies. I mean, look at that. See, that's weird. But anyway, that's your mashed potatoes, and I don't know, let me see. The book also says, oh, I need, oh, a yam. This is a yam. I, you could put it, look at that, it's dangerous. I could, I could, I mean, you could hurt someone with this thing. Put an eye out. And, oh, vegetables, I'll find them later. And... And I need biscuits, gravies, in-laws. I don't 
don't think we need the in-laws. Anyway, um, what is an in-law? Kind of scary looking. But anyway, I don't, I don't think we need them. And we need a turkey. So, hold on. I found the turkey. See, this is a turkey. And it's, it's, this is your holiday. So if I, you know, take, I take this right here and I have to, you guys go through a lot of trouble and eat really bad food every so many months. You know, you guys are strange and don't like us. But anyway, I found the turkey and, well, let me see. I've always wanted to, to blow something up on TV, so I have my opportunity now. Wow. And, okay. This is really special, guys. You know what? You know, we should just eat you. Uh, don't get me started. Uh, I'm, almost, I'm ready for bed. It really tastes bad. Guys just beg to be eaten at this point because this is just wrong. Anyway, I think I finished it. Look, it's turkey. This is, I found it. I feel like I want to toss it around on a beach. But anyway, I have it. There's the turkey, and it doesn't smell like anything. Then I don't know how they got it in a can. It's kind of special, but yeah. Hey, you know, this is this is your thing, guys. You know what? I'm looking at this, and this is just wrong. This is wrong. This is not what you should be eating. This is not cool. This is, this is, um, I don't know what this is. What do you, I mean, I can make a dance. I can do a turkey dance with them. Uh, anyway, this is wrong. This is, I think we need to zombify this whole Thanksgiving thing. But, you know, here. Let me get back. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, give me that turkey thing back here. There we go. See, this is kind of fun. But anyway, let's get back, and I'm going to zombify this Thanksgiving thing, and let's see how it looks when we take over. Okay. of a holiday and home. Helping make ready a celebration is part of the fun. Especially for one of the nicest days of the year. Thanksgiving. Happiness in the air. And the smell of brains. Mmm, that does look good. Good manners make people happy. And a good table manners make eating together a happy time. And we know what to do with a napkin. And how to use a spoon.
Learning to use a knife the right way takes practice. Yet each time we do, it becomes easier. Now, could you wish for more? Celebration. 